13 Sentinels Aegis Rim releases in a few weeks on September 22nd exclusively for the PS4, and sadly, I haven't seen much coverage for this game. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do a review for it as I'll be out of town until October without access to my PS4, but I at least wanted to show this game some love with a video because it totally deserves it. So this isn't exactly a preview or a review of 13 Sentinels, but rather a video detailing what you can expect from the game as it's fairly unique and a major departure from what developer Vanillaware has made in the past. And if you enjoy games like 13 Sentinels, consider subscribing to stay up to date with all my future coverage. To begin, let's talk about the story. So the story takes place in 1980s Japan, where an event brings together 13 high school students to fend off an opposing alien force to prevent an apocalyptic future. Without giving away too many spoilers, there's elements of time travel where it'll go back to World War II and even the far future. Now here's something I want to make very clear because a lot of people were asking me about this. 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim is a visual novel, and about 80 to 90% of the gameplay is spent in these side-scrolling adventure segments. You'll be talking with different characters and interacting with the environment. If you're not ready for a story-heavy game, then I would steer clear of 13 Sentinels. However, if you are, there's quite a lot of positive buzz around it. A lot of people that I follow that have imported the game have really enjoyed it, and the voice cast for the game has been claiming that this has been their favorite project they worked on all year. Now it's worth noting that 13 Sentinels won awards for the best scenario and best adventure game at the 2019 Famitsu Dengeki Game Awards in Japan. Now if you've ever played a mystery adventure game from Spike Chunsoft, this will be very familiar with a flowchart. Yeah, there is a flowchart that you can go through and there's different paths throughout the game. Now you will run into dead ends and you might have to go back to playthrough segments, but thankfully there's a fast forward option if you're going through a story segment you've already seen before. Now as the name implies, there's 13 characters and you'll be bouncing between them a lot, so you won't always play out the story in a linear way. This is where another segment of gameplay comes in called the Event Archive. This sort of helps put the story in perspective in a chronological way in case you get confused and it also reveals more of the plot. Now having watched a lot of import coverage, this seems to be very spoilery, so I would consider waiting until you finish the game to delve deeper into this so you don't miss any of the plot. Now there is English and Japanese voice acting in the game. Initially the dub was supposed to come at a later date via free DLC, but Atlas seemingly delayed the release so the English VO would be available in a day one patch. 13 Sentinels features some awesome voice talent like Christina V, who voiced Velvet in Tales of Berseria, Cassandra Lee Morris, who voiced Morgana in Persona 5, and Kaiji Tang, who voices a lot of characters in a lot of games. Now, in case you haven't noticed, 13 Sentinels has a stunning art direction. Vanillaware games have always had incredible art, and this honestly might be their best looking game yet. I think the slower pace of the game gives you more time to really appreciate this gorgeous art and really soak in the atmosphere. Now something else a lot of people were asking me about was the gameplay segment. How does it actually play out? So if you've ever played a Vanillaware game before, they've mostly been 2D action games with a lot of stylish flair. 13 Sentinels is very different, it's actually a real-time strategy game. When you begin a battle segment, you'll pick 6 characters to go to battle with, each piloting mechs with different strengths and weaknesses. Most of the battles will be you defending points as waves of enemies try to attack it. You'll constantly be pausing the battle to issue orders like move, attack, and other actions. Sadly, the combat doesn't take great advantage of Vanillaware's signature art style as most of the battles are little more than icons moving across a grid. The map does look cool in its own right, I just wish it had more of this gorgeous art. Now these battles don't take up too much time, about 10-20% to of the actual gameplay, and mainly serve to break up the adventure gameplay from time to time. Now how long is 13 Sentinels? About how many hours can you expect to get out of this game? From what I'm hearing, you can expect about 30 hours, so for 60 bucks that seems to be a good bang for your buck. Now ever since this game was first announced, I've been super excited to play and have been really looking forward to a new visual novel to dive into. Now if you want to know about other JRPGs that are still coming in 2020, check out this video I did with Shadow Elite where you take a look at 16 JRPGs still coming in 2020. Now for obvious reasons, some of these dates have been shifted around, but there's still plenty on this list to look forward to. And if you love Japanese games and JRPGs, definitely consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.